Class is in session, but how are educators ready for artificial intelligence? Fox Business Network's Lydia Hugh has more on how schools are using AI. ChatGPT is a genie that you can't put back into the bottle. It's a type of AI that is generative. In other words, it creates new materials. It's back to school, and artificial intelligence is no longer the new kid in class. ChatGPT launched last fall, dividing educators over if and how students should be using AI technology for learning. AI can be used to give tailored feedback on student assessments while still keeping teachers in the loop. But students may also use it to write essays without using critical thinking. AI is still developing, so experts warn it may be biased or inaccurate at times. We need to put in guidelines early to make sure that it's, it's an ultimately an, an asset to education. AI policies for public K through 12 schools are usually implemented at the district level, while universities typically leave it up to the professors. This Emory University professor believes his older students can use it to draft assignments, then focus on refining them with a human eye. Let's try to use these things productively in the classroom. Some K through 12 schools have prohibited chat GPT, but students of all ages may still find ways around bans. So having a direct conversation with them the same way that you hopefully talk to them about cell phone use, you know, this is particularly important. The public school district here in New York City banned chat GPT back in January, but reversed that policy months later. In New York, Lydia Hu, Fox 32 Chicago.